How's it going, PharmaLife family? Hello. I am very excited to introduce to you John Kohler of numerous different <laughs> discount juicers. I, I got a quick story before we get into John Kohler's life and what makes him tick. Um, in 2001, when I first started Raw Foods, and I, I told John a little bit of this story, but PharmaLife family will hear this. Um, whenever I talk and I speak, I always say, you know, I was a big party or drug user before I got into raw foods, and it's what made me sick. It's what got me my chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia. And when I decided to make a complete lifestyle change, my two friends were my juicer and my blender. I had all my party friends, didn't think I was any cool, no cool anymore, see you later, goodbye, no more friends left. And for a while there, as I was getting my, my, you know, my head wrapped around living this way in a completely different way, my two friends are my Vitamix and my Green Power Juicer. And where did I go? I Googled, you know, you know, how can I get a discount on these two things? And I went to discountjuicers.com in 2001. So one of my first contacts with the raw food, with the raw foods movement, was that website. And lo and behold, just a couple of years ago, I found out that this guy is the moderator, John Kohler. So thank you, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm glad I'm my I first raw food friend. <laughs> I'm glad I can supply you with a juicer and you know help you. Build, I mean, build, literally build all this. Yeah. I mean, started it started with a juice and a blender. It really did. It did. It's in a, my apartment in Atlanta in 2001. Discountjuicers.com is probably one of the first websites. He tells everyone, too, about your website. Okay. We have a lot of beginners oh, come everybody. to the farm. Wow. And we we'll say, go you. get your yeah, equipment on your website. People. Awesome. Yep. When people come here and they're learning about the lifestyle, right, and, and, and they're like, well, where do I get that stuff Discountjuicers.com. Awesome. You have the best prices. Thank you. So I mean, it's, but you got more going on than that, yeah. Yeah, You're a busy man. I do a lot of education, so I have over 250 videos comparing different juicers because there's so, so many different juicers, and people always ask me, John, what's the best juicer? And I'm like, I can't just say this one's the best. It depends on what you want to juice. Yeah. You know, and it depends. Everybody has different needs. Yep. It's always different. Let's let's back up just a little bit though. I, I want to find out what makes John Kohler tick a little <laughs> right, bit. Right, right. Like, what's your story, right? Like I told mine just to, to, to snip it a little bit, right? Sure. You know, drinking, partying, got sick, had to make some changes in my life. Like, what brought you? Because let's face it, this this kind of this lifestyle kind of puts you out there, right? If it brings you over to to another facet of life that, uh, for lack of a better word, it's not what everybody else does. But yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. But but um, you know, how, how'd you get into it? Sure. So what happened to me, Brian, was simply I got sick, you know, right after college. You know, I was I thought I ate pretty well, read my ingredient labels, but I still got sick. I was afflicted with a uh, spinal meningitis and actually mm. I was hospitalized and the doctors told me that I might not make it out alive. Wow. So that's not a fun place to be at any age, but especially right when you graduated college and you have your whole life in front mm -hmm. of you or mm -hmm. maybe being taken away from me. And you know, the doctors couldn't do anything. I had the viral version of the spinal meningitis and maybe if it was bacterial, they could give me antibiotics, but there's no cure. And so I can only say I'm here today because of higher powers and you know, I'm here for a purpose. And because I was saved at that young age and given a second chance, I feel that I'm here for, to do something better and to make this world a better place. So I continue to nice. this day to help educate and help people you know, eat a raw foods <laughs> diet through not only the juicers I offer, but through a tremendous amount of education. I have over a thousand videos on YouTube now. Some of yeah. my uh, Growing Your Greens channel where I teach people about, you know, what you guys are doing here about growing your own food yeah. and eating the highest quality food possible because we are what we eat. And if people are buying yeah. stuff from their Whole Foods or other place that's been, you know, cut, packed and shipped and it's like two weeks old by the time you get it, it's not quite as full of life as something they're gonna pick right out of your greenhouse and eat these amazing greens. Yeah, yep. And, um, you know, it, it, right now, in the now, I know you've done festivals, you've done all kinds of stuff. You know, can you talk about like some of the current things that, that you're doing right now to really to really stimulate a lot of growth in, in growing your own greens and, and some of your websites and what you've got going on? Sure, sure, man. So I like in like, I don't know, many years ago I did a retreat in Hawaii where we brought people over, a small intimate group, I don't know, maybe 20 people that had a wonderful time in the Big Island of Hawaii and I planned all that, put it together with some friends of mine. It was really great. Uh, for the last three years, I've had the Raw Health Expo in Sebastopol or Santa Rosa area, California. I've yeah. had on average about 500 people attend a two day intensive, like eight hour day uh, expo of raw food. So we had the vendors and we had speakers like every hour. We had three different venues where people would hear talks or see recipe demos to, to know how to do this stuff. 
Uh, in addition to that, I do the YouTube videos, so I have the discountjuicers.com website where I have a lot of videos that, once again, show how to use the appliances and how they differ. Yep. I have another website, okraw.com, where I teach all my raw food philosophies and all my health teachings. And then I finally have the growingyourgreens.com, which is actually what I'm most passionate about because even if you're not yeah. eating raw foods, you should definitely be growing your own foods and eat most of what you grow. Hopefully yep. you're going to eat it raw, but if you got to cook it, that's way better than getting the processed junk or even the you know commercial organic produce that you can find. And what I'll be doing really soon, hopefully, with your guys' help, is yeah. I'll be having a growing, the first ever, yes. Growing Your Greens retreat here. We're going to come to your farm and show people around your amazing farm and go to the greenhouse and show them everything you're doing, having to do with the tropics, show them all the different food plants and edible plants, herbs, and we're going to take tours on some of the neighboring farms that have some amazing stuff going on and they're going to get like in-depth immersion with me and on your farm to learn how they could actually come here and go home and start growing their own food at home. Oh man, that's excellent. So basically what you want to do is you want to reach kind of like, you know, middle America pretty much, right? And just say, hey Absolutely. look, you don't have to be 100% raw exactly. food, is, but, but you know, get connected to the earth. That's it. Learn yeah. how to grow in your back. Let's say you got a little small backyard. Learn how to grow a little garden, some Absolutely. greens. You know, add yep. some more salads to your That's life. That's exactly it. Because, like, yeah. I mean, some people have this narrow focus. Oh, you got to be raw or nothing. You know, no. Right, right. It's about you want to eat the most fresh food and highest quality food as possible. Now, I had that, you know, <laughs> the fresh raw food in for a long time, and then, you know, recently, I don't know, last several years I really got into growing your own food and that's really the key that many people in raw foods miss and I mean you guys are doing it here so Absolutely. obviously you guys know about it and I'm here to share this message with others and yes reach the mainstream people yeah. on my growing your greens channel I don't necessarily say hey I'm a raw vegan and only eat a plant-based diet but yeah. you know I this is how I grow my food this is how I make it and all the recipes that I make Guess what? They're raw yeah. well, it's and about, vegetarian based and you know what I grew. Absolutely. And it's about life force energy, right? That's, so if oh you're, man, that's if you're huge. going to the grocery store and you're getting produce that's like you said, been cut early, it's had to travel, the, the energy in that food is not gonna be near as strong as as you you know, from seed like you said, from seed to the growth of that plant. You go out and you plant it you spend time with it and then you pick it and then you eat it the energy of that's going to be way different oh absolutely i totally agree with you man like yeah. one of the things that you won't even know about until you start growing and eating your own food one of the things i learned is that you actually need less food because there's exactly. the prana the chi the bio photons or however you want to quantify it exactly. in that food that just literally lights you up and maybe that's why i'm so animated all the time <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's true it's true you're growing your own food you don't need as much because it's everything's energy Food is a fancy word, we tell people, for energy. So when, when the life force energy of food, you're, you're taking it, grabbing it, and eating it, you're, that's the highest amount of life force energy that you could possibly get with food. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, I think it's one of the reasons why some people, right, they say, oh, the raw food diet didn't work for me. And now my first question to them is always, well, where were you eating that? And they're like, oh, I was just buying it from Publix or Kroger or the grocery store. I'm like, nah, this probably because the energy wasn't enough in that food. So teaching people how to grow their food is going to be awesome. And you're going to be Absolutely. doing that here, man. I'll be doing it here, man. I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah. this is going to sell out quick. <laughs> yeah, it's going to sell out quick. It's going to sell out quick. Is there, and then the, now you're going to be promoting this retreat on your growyourgreens.com? Yeah, growingyourgreens.com, yes. Growingyourgreens.com site. So stay tuned, um, Pharma Life family, for that, for the some of the YouTube videos and some of the promotional stuff on that, growingyourgreens.com. Anything else, John, you'd like to add as far as like future passions? What do you see, you know, where you see yourself going in the future or is this it? I mean, you know, one day, I mean, I'm just growing on a residential property. It's like, you know, a standard tract home. I have like 6,600 square feet and I converted my whole front yard into an all raised bed edible vegetable garden. I grow 90 to 95% of my vegetables year round. No problem. And, wow. you know, I really want to encourage people that live in the standard tract house like me they could do it. They could grow their food too. I'm, you know, I'm nothing yeah. special. I've researched a lot, but more importantly, I'm sharing this information on my channel so that you can do it too. And you don't have to go through all the hardships and school of hard knocks like I did. Uh, that's awesome, John. Thanks. Thanks for bringing this to not just the hardcore raw fooder for everybody, everybody, because everybody can just get their hands back into the soil 
You know, it's like my father talked about the Victory Gardens back in oh, World yeah, War II. Oh, yeah, man, sure. Right? I mean, and they, you know, and they all thought, oh, you know, gosh, you know, we have to grow this because all the other food was going to the army. But now, look at that. We're going we're going back to the Victory yep. Gardens. You're helping people going back to Victory Gardens. One again, garden at man. a time. One garden at a time. <laughs> High five, brother. Awesome, dude. All right, man. All right. Thanks, Farmer Life family. We'll see you again soon.